Today I will show you how to install and set up a TFTP server to put some files from your Ubuntu system and even an Aruba network switch. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Alright, open a browser and search for TFTPD and the most popular server and client is actually from a guy called Philip Yunin. So it's indeed this top result and don't let the home page, the simple home page fool you. Uh, this is actually the one that gets the most recommendations and uh, it's not only TFTP but it can also do like DHCP, DNS, SNTP and even syslog but we are going to focus on TFTP in this video and TFTP is for trivial file transfer protocol so it's a very simple way of sending files back and forth and uh, yeah there's some documentation here also if you want to read exactly what all the settings are doing but I will show you the what you need and here we click on the downloads and uh, I would recommend to download the one that is only an ordinary zip file and this is the portable one there are also files which you can install a exe or even a windows service but to begin with this is kind of perfect because we just have to extract this zip file and we can actually yeah just run the exe from here so it only contains four files i think this is a license pdf some kind of help file and then an any file with uh, settings but we are going to open up this uh, program here okay so let's start with hitting the settings button on the button and uh, yeah this is not only for tftp so i would recommend to start to go to global and uncheck the services you that you don't need so I am only going to leave TFTP server here and it will restart and let's go into the settings again so we can set up the TFTP. Okay so we start with setting the base directory where the files are going to be. So I will hit browse here and we will go to a folder I have made on my C column that is called TFTP backups hit ok so now the base directory is set and here on the security we can have none then it can write all over the disk if it has permission standard then it's only in the base directory high is to only write to existing empty files and read only well it's read only so we keep it at standard and the port is port 69 and it's UDP so that is important to remember if you are dealing with some firewalls or routers and we will also bind TFTP to the address of this server hit OK and it will restart again and now we are actually done with the Windows server part of this uh, tutorial but I will show you actually that this works uh, we are going to connect to a Linux server a test server so I will SSH into my Linux test machine it's on this IP and I will put in my password here so okay we are on uh, Ubuntu server 24.04 and TFTP is perfect for just sending uh, small files back and forth. I wouldn't recommend it for larger files because of the UDP protocol maybe not being the, yeah, the most uh, reliable and fast way. If we type TFTP we can see that it's not found but it can be installed with the command sudo apt install tftp-hpa. So let's actually do that. I will copy this and let's paste it in. Let's hit enter and the password. 
So it's a small programming, it won't take that much of space. And now it's actually installed. Okay, so the syntax was just tftp. And here we can see if I do an ls, I have an ISO file, but it will take quite a while. That this is almost one gig. So I think we are going to create a new text document. So let's do nano, let's call it test and just fill it in with test one, two, three, four. Save and exit out. So now we have a file called test with the content one, two, three, four, test one, two, three, four. So now we type tftp, it will ask where we want to put the file and we will fill in the IP address of the tftp server. So this is the address. And we end up in the tftp prompt. In this prompt, we can do a question mark to see the commands that we can do here. So we can put files, we can get files, we can switch, uh, we can switch to verbose mode and we can hit status. But the bread and butter is usually to put files onto the server. So let's do that. So we do put test, but nothing happens. Top right in the TFTP server, we should have seen a file coming in, but we missed one thing and that is opening up the firewall on the TFTP server. So let's go to the Windows Defender firewall on inbound rules, hit new rule, we will select port, hit next. And remember, it's UDP, so we have to switch to UDP. And it's port 69. Hit next. And we will allow the connection. So we hit next again. And it can be for all the domain, sorry, all the network profile. That's fine. We call it TFTP port 69. And hit finish. So now the rule is there for accepting TFTP on port 69. Let's see if it uh, helps us putting the files on the server. And if we minimize this and actually do a status command on the TFTP client, we can see if we type status at connected to 1064.239. So this is the server. And if you now do put test, look top right, we can see the file, it is receiving the file. And uh, if we do show directory top right, it, uh, the TFTP server actually have a separate interface to see that the file is there. But we can also click explorer to open up the ordinary Windows Explorer and the file should be here. There it is. Let's open it up and here we can see a text file with the contents test1234. So very useful to send small maybe config files to another machine. And um, yeah, I'm not only going to show you uh, Ubuntu to a Windows, I will also show you an HP Aruba switch to a TFTP server. So this is a very common use case for backing up your config file. So I will SSH into a Aruba test switch of mine. I will put in the password. So we should now be logged in to a pretty vanilla Aruba switch. So if we do show system, you can see here it's a Aruba 6012G switch. And both the 6000, the 2530, they can be backed up to a TFTP server. Uh, there, the commands are a bit different, so keep that in mind when the 
uh, Aruba switch to the AOS CX, but on the new switch you will go copy and here we can hit tab to see the next commands and we will do uh, running config so we know that we actually back backing up what is running right now if we do copy uh, tab again you can see that it's not too helpful um, what we are going to type more to the tftp so you have to trust me here and you type tftp colon slash slash and then the host name so we will go with the ip address and then as another slash and what you want to call the file that is going to be created so copy running config tftp colon slash slash ip and we can call this switch test underscore and today's date and this is important you do a blank space and cli then you will have a perfect copy of the configuration of the switch so we hit enter here it will take a couple of seconds but then we can see that uh, we actually got the file on the tftp server and if we check in the tftp backups and open notepad we have a perfectly fine config file from the network switch so that is pretty cool I think that's enough for TFTP for now and I hope you learned something. Leave a like in that case and uh, yeah, subscribe and see you guys later. Bye bye.